Uh, I'd like to make a statement, not only on behalf of the volunteers of Vice President Lenny Robredo, but uh, on behalf of those people, non-candidates, who are similarly situated. This statement is not only for the volunteers of uh, the Vice President, but those who were affected by the apparently illegal moves made by the Comelec. And uh, I'd like to make this statement that uh, it is very arbitrary in a clear case of abuse of power and discretion and violation of one's constitutional right to property. This is what the Comelec has done to those non-candidates who posted alleged oversized campaign materials on their own private properties. It was a very arbitrary act of the Comelec because said persons were never given the chance to be heard which violated their procedural right to due process when said campaign materials were removed without any hearing. The action is unconstitutional because it violates Section 1, Article 3 of the Bill of Rights of the Constitution, which provides that no person shall be deprived of his property without due process of law. The campaign posters are the properties of the owners who posted them on their private properties. Therefore, the right to use the said property is protected by the said provision of the Constitution. The common exposition that it has moto proprio power or on its own it can do it, that power uh, is allegedly under its resolution number 10730. According to the Comelec, they issued a resolution giving them the moto proprio power to remove these posters. Well, you know, while it may be the moto proprio power of the Comelec, the same cannot be exercised without giving the affected party the chance to be heard as mandated by the Supreme Court in the 2015 case of Timbol versus Comelec. Mukhang nakalimutan ng Comelec itong kasong ito na Timbol versus Comelec where they were practically admonished by the Supreme Court that in the exercise of a moto proprio authority, the same could only be exercised by observing due process, meaning the person affected should be properly informed, properly notified, and should be given the chance to be heard. Like the postings of uh, stickers on cars as held in Adjong versus Comelec, where uh, modesty aside, I was the lawyer of Adjong in this case, the posting of these materials on private properties does not endanger any substantial government interest. There is no clear public interest threatened by the said activity so as to justify the curtailment of the cherished citizen's right of free speech and expression. This was also the position of the Supreme Court in the case of Diocese of Bacolod versus Comelec, where modesty aside, I was one of the consultants by the Bacolod Diocese when we instituted this particular petition before the Supreme Court. In that case, it was declared that the size of a tarpaulin or a poster claimed by the Comelec to be illegal does not endanger any state interest and does not affect anyone's constitutional right. Furthermore, Section 9, Republic Act 9006, which was used by the, uh, as the basis of the Comelec in removing these materials, this provision of the law does not apply to candidates. Republic Act 9006, or the Fair Election Act, does not apply to non-candidates. The provisions on election propaganda materials under Republic Act 9006 pertains only to candidates and political parties. Basahin ninyo Republic Act 9006. Wala kang makikita doon na sinasabing the election propaganda rules shall apply to non-candidates. They all pertain to candidates and political parties. There is nothing there that says that they could be applied to non-candidates. Therefore, it is not within the power of the Comelec to include non-candidates to be under its regulatory power when the said candidates were not referred to in the said law. The Comelec cannot prescribe what the law does not provide. The Comelec may have found some gaps in the law, but it is not the power of the Comelec to supply the gaps in the law because its function is not legislative. If the Comelec feels that there is a need to add more provisions in the law, the Comelec should go to the Congress of the Philippines and ask for an amendment of the said law. The poster may be posted or may be coming from candidates. Maaaring ang mga posters na yan ay ibinibigay ng mga kandidato. But 
as held in the adjunct case, once the owner of a private property agrees to have that particular poster coming from a candidate to be placed in his own private property, the expression now becomes a statement by the owner primarily as his own and not of anybody else. In other words, kapag binigyan po ang isang, ang, ang isang tao na mga posters ng mga kandidato, yung mga posters na yan ay nagiging pag-aari na ng taong yan at yan ay protektado na ng kanyang karapatan na gamitin ang nasabing poster. While the adjunct case happened in the 1992 elections, the ruling of the Supreme Court still applies in the coming 2022 elections which could not easily be ignored by the Comelec. Thus, the following sterling words of the late Justice Sagani Cruz should be considered by the Supreme Court in revisiting its resolution. I would like to quote from Justice Sagani Cruz, I think we are being swamped with regulations that unduly obstruct the free flow of information so vital in an election campaign. The Comelec seems to be bent on muzzling the candidates and imposing all manner of silly restrictions on their efforts to reach the electorate. Reaching the electorate is precisely the purpose of an election campaign, but the Comelec obviously believes that the candidates should be quiet as possible. I have nothing but praise for the zeal of the Comelec in pursuing the ideal of democratic elections, but I am afraid that it is barking up the wrong tree. End of quote. And by the way, you know the Comelec rules allows the posting of campaign materials only on the Comelec poster areas. But alam ba ninyo kung nasa ng Comelec poster areas? In these Comelec poster areas, this is where the Comelec says that ito lamang ang pwede yung paglagyan ng inyong mga posters. Kandidato, political parties, and party list groups. Alam ba ninyo na under the Comelec rules, not more than 10 public places could be used as a common poster area. And the common poster area, yung poster nila, shall measure not to exceed 12 feet by 16 feet for candidates, political parties, and party lists. Now, with 10 candidates for president, 9 candidates for vice president, 64 candidates for senator, and some 170 party lists candidates. Alam nyo, if we divide the 12 feet by 6 feet common poster areas, bawat kandidato meron lamang siyang 0 0.04 feet by 0 0.06 feet para magkaroon siya ng share doon sa common poster area. Can you imagine how absurd the regulation is? If this is not absurdity, perhaps we could say it is a very ridiculous resolution. Di ba? Kailangan mo ng microscope, kailangan mo ng telescope para makita mo kung ano yung nakalagay sa common poster area. Kasi gatungaw lang ang pupwedeng ma-post kung paghahati-hatiin ng mga kandidato at political parties yung common poster areas. And yet, the common says, oh, wala kayong paglalagyan, dyan lang. Maglay ka sa toilet mo. Paano kung nasa toilet mo yung one? Sa CR, yung, yung poster. Pwede bang ka? Puntahan ako. Oy. Pwede yan. What the common has done is a violation of a constitutional right of a candidate to freedom of expression and the, the watchers, I mean, I mean, the volunteers. Nakita niyo kung paano sila pumasok sa bahay ng mga nakalagay ng mga posters na yan. Makikita ko sa inyo mamaya yung videos. Ano. Kaya, I feel that the Comelec has not only violated election, uh, the constitutional right of these volunteers, of these private persons who are not candidates. Kahit yung Republic Act, yung uh, revised penal code on trespass to dwelling, trespassing, pumasok lang sila. Seizure of property without any warrant was also violated by the Commission on Elections. Kinanggal nila, kinuha nila, kinunbiscate nila without any warrant. Okay, that is not also allowed. So, I'd like to share with you itong some videos and I uh, would like to make some uh, comments as we play the videos. Paki-play mo nga number one natin video. Yung, uh, ito, mas share ito, makita nyo sa social media, padala ng mga volunteers namin, papaano sila nagre-reklamo? 
Makakita ba natin? Habang nagkanta ito, lagyan lang namin ng tent. Baka lumakas nila. Okay. Tama ba yung sukat ng tent na lalagay nyo? <laughs> ito. Pakikwan mo nga yung, yung audio niya. Ito, maliwanag na maliwanag. Trespass to dwelling. Umasok ang polis. Tsaka bakit ang polis? nag assist Walang karapatan ng polis na mag -assist. Ando lang sila para to maintain peace and security. Pati sila mismo. Kita mo, walang notice, walang hearing, basta lamang pinasok ang bahay. Under the revised penal code, trespass to dwelling. Kinuha yung property, under the revised penal code, as a rules of court, you cannot seize property without a warrant. Hindi pwede yung warrantless seizure of property. Ito, taga fire department ba yan? Taga police? Hindi sila pwedeng magtanggal. Ha? Anong kapangyarihan ng COMELEC na tanggalin yan? Kaya sinasabi namin na it was a very arbitrary act of the Commission on Elections in uh, removing, dismantling all these uh, paraphernalia. It's the second, the second uh, video natin. Ito, pwede marinig natin sa abinda. Si, pumapasok sila sa property ng tao nang walang pahintulot. Uh, they will be uh, directing them to remove. Asa ang authority nila? Silang naman ito eh. Meron dito sinabi yung Comelec. Pakinggan ninyo yung sinabi ng Comelec. Nagka-Comelec dito. Ito, maliwanag, hindi public property ito. Ah. Bawal sa public property. Ah. We, we uh, agree to that. Pero ito, maliwanag na private property ito. Na hindi pwedeng basta-basta lamang pasukin without any warrant of arrest. A warrant of seizure, ano?
Bakit nawala yung sabi niyang moto propio? Oh, dito kasi sina sinasabi noong uh, paki-play mo lang, paki-play mo lang. Sinasabi noong uh, taga Comelec, meron daw silang moto propio power. Ayo, sinasabi, bakit wala kaming notice? Sabi nag-text naman yata kami. Nag-text yata kami, sabi nung taga Comelec. So, ito ang sinasabi namin na wala kayong moto propio power. Otherwise, eh, napakadaling puntahan ng kahit sino yung nasabing area na yan kapag uh, sinasabi mo you have all the power. Kaya kami, we believe na the action is very arbitrary, it is unconstitutional. Kaya nananawagan ako sa lahat ng mamamaya natin, ipaglaban po ninyo ang inyong karapatan. Kasi kung hindi nyo ipaglalaban ang inyong karapatan, eh wala na makikipaglaban para sa inyo. Kung hindi kayo sisigaw, kung hindi kayo magsasalita, wala po mangyayari. Ang sinasabi ko ho, hindi para lamang sa grupo ni Vice President, kundi sa lahat ng mga tao na sumusuporta sa kanilang mga kandidato at nais nice lang ipahayag ang kanilang sariling damdamin. Hindi para lamang kay Vice President ito, kundi sa lahat. Sabi nga ni Vice President, kailangan na torni lahat ito hindi para sa akin lang. Kailangan lahat ng maaaring maapektuhan ng nasabing ma uh, abuse ng COMELEC of their power should uh, be properly informed of their rights in uh, expressing their own views and opinions on a particular issue in this coming election. So again, maraming salamat sa inyo. Magandang maga po sa inyo lahat.